my thoughts was that these proposals that we are, these three that we're talking about funding are currently funded proposals um, through no funding. And we're talking about a finite amount of funds for now, um, depending you know, what we do with uh, additional money down the road. What about saying because this is a process with a certain amount of money that we're not considering um, new proposals at this time? So then it could leave the renewals hanging out there a little bit, like Todd mentioned, while we decide on that. I think that would make people very upset that they wasted their time to apply. If, if that's our recommendation. Because otherwise we didn't have to re-advertise it if we were just going to renew. I don't think we necessarily have to point that out because I think people will be upset. Because like right well, there's going to be people upset. I don't well, care there's always that. people <laughs> upset. But if I'm, I'm specifically thinking of Rodney Mack who was encouraged to apply, and then if we say, well, we're just going to do renewals. So are you saying say no outright to the rest? I still would like to take a look at that Hope Village one. It, it's not a lot of money, but I would like to talk to Todd, or Todd, um, talk to Ted and see if this is above and beyond what, what they're already doing. I know He's been working real well with the sheriff, and the sheriff's really like let him come in there because they see the progress that his programs are doing inside the jail. So and we, it's not a big amount; it's like fifty thousand. Do we only want to release the yeses at this time and just let everyone call and tell them we're still considering? I, I think that would be best, Todd. I really do. Okay. So now the so next I, question is, is what, how long are we reconsidering or when do we think? Because that's going to be their next question. If they call me today, my answer would be till the end of June. I mean, yeah. I don't know what your thoughts are. Right. But I mean, that's, yeah. at least in the proposal, we indicated that that would be ready as of July 1st. Right. Okay. So if they ask now, good. we could tell them that no sooner than, or no later than the end of June. Right. And then when you're ready to bring it up again, we could. Vicki and Kathleen, would you be opposed if Ted came in and talked to us about his proposal, since it is different just to see exactly or or not? Well, it's if you do that with him, though, I think you need to do mm -hmm. that with everyone. I mean, yeah. yeah, I think it would be odd and upsetting to right. people if they do call him one. Yeah applicant in and because he's very accessible that. I mean I've been out to the jail with him also I and mean, oh yeah any commissioner wants to talk to him he definitely yeah. would meet with you oh no I, I know that but I mean, know if you guys would be interested in here or I'll just talk to him and then I'll report back um, so if I could summarize funding real quick um, we're going to add 500,000 to the sheriff's salary lines with the caveat that we will cover the additional health benefits, whatever they occur at. Mm -hmm. And we're um, going to budget 100000 for that. For us. We, we're going to, in our minds. A mental so, note. Yeah. Uh, we're going to add everything on the miscellaneous item except for the inmate medical and mm -hmm. inmate food, which comes to roughly 98000 or so there. Right. We are going to add 100000 for the storage of uh, data processing. Mm -hmm. And we are adding the 55 for the staffing member. Pro prorate that, right? To correct, yes, call. correct. That'll be prorated. So it'll, it'll be around 20000 Yeah. Um, we are going to begin the process, and this will be mental health of moving money so that the Portage Schools 314,000 contract can be extended into the new school year. And we will inform the courts that they have additional funding to continue their Scramex program mm -hmm. for another year. Right. Is that 
What was the one after the 500K on the sheriff before the data processing and the 100,000? So there's the miscellaneous list, which was the separate paper, almost 98,000 permit. And there's a hundred thousand dollars probably in health benefits once we get people hired and they actually make their selections. We will cover whatever that comes out to be. And what is the ninety-eight? That is everything on this list except for that eighteen thousand four hundred and fifty-nine and the seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Which actually if those contracts run over, we will be covering anyways, but we will cover them at that time when they actually run over. And that number will depend upon how many inmates are in the jail at any given time. On this list, are you saying that you don't think we can fund free agents for recovery or enough is enough? I think if we get clever, we can. It depends on how clever you want to get. There are other entities in the county with whom we can contract through that can possibly contract through them. Hmm. You start getting into layers upon layers, it is more difficult to get funding to those type of organizations. Okay. Um, and in the prior year the commissioners didn't want to didn't want to engage in that level of, mm -hmm. of subcontracting mm -hmm. just because sometimes the appearance is that something perhaps was a lie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me add one more point on the new versus renewal. I think to creating a program for a one-year period, potentially if we don't renew this funding, I think has less of an impact than having a longer term, say a two-year um, effort out there in the community that's already started up, that we already have outcomes from Mm -hmm. um, just something to think about going forward as we're considering these proposals. But in our defense, that was well noted. I mean, there was no guarantee that they would be funded from year to year. The, the hope says is that eventually this money is going to be gone. They need to figure out other um, funding sources, whether it be through the Mental Health Recovery Board or through grants or something to, to fund this. So that's why I made the comment earlier. I was a little disappointed. Um, that some of them had not reduced their amounts because there's there's no guarantee that these will continue. Um, Chris Nader is currently reviewing the memo that I prepared on the additional, so that okay. discussion can proceed. It, he thought he was going to have it done this week, um, so perhaps next week or so we can begin that conversation. On the levy, you mean? Yes, whether we are going to add it, when we're going to add it, how we're going to add it. Okay. Uh, any other questions for me? No. Thank you, Todd. Mm -hmm. So I will Thursday, there will be a budget amendment for. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> more than I had hoped, but <laughs> not, not beyond expectations, to be fair. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's it for today. Is there anything else? Do you want to comment, Kathleen, on your outcome of your meeting with the sheriff or anything? It was I think we covered that pretty okay. So I move to adjourn. I will second. Roll call. Joanne. Almost the name. I know. Yeah. Vicki. Yes. Sabrina. Yes. And Kathleen. Yes. All right. Good. I can approve. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So you're just going to find those three.